do, I just thought I'd have you look at some special triangles. For this first one, 45, this angle will be 45. So if this is 10, what will A be? 10 feet. Good. Don't forget the units. We'll talk about that today. What will B be? If A is 10, B is going to be 10 times what? Square root of 2. And that will be feet. Yay. Good. Uh, this one, now it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. If this is 7, what will C be? 7 over the square root of 3. And then what will D be? 14 over the square root of 3. How many had all those right so far? Good, good. Now with this one, uh, we have a little bit nicer, but it's the same setup as what you had with the string problem. Uh, did you guys figure that string problem out in here? Good. So this is 30, this is 45, this is H. If this is H here, what will this length here be? Same thing, H. Yep. Just because it's 45. Now, if I took this short leg, and this is the long leg, what's the difference between the short leg and the long leg in a 30, 60, 90? What do you do to the short leg to get equal to the long leg? Times the square root of 3, right? If I took this short one times the square root of 3, I'd get the long leg. Everybody okay with that? So if the short leg is h, it's the square root of 3 times h should be equal to h plus 1.43. So I'm going to say it one more time. This short leg times the square root of 3 will equal this long leg. And the long leg is going to be h plus 1.43. So that's why I took h times square root of 3 here. Put the h's together. Factor out an h. And I'm going to get h is equal to 1.43 over square root of 3 minus 1. I don't care what the actual value is. Did anybody get something that looks like 1.43 over square root of 3 minus 1. Okay. Questions on that? 